Do you ever sit back, say something that you're like, you know what, that didn't really come off the way I wanted. Yeah. Hey, oh, I'm a snowboarder. No, I always like try to be really nice to people, but if I don't like you, I don't like you. If I like you, I like you. Like it's just very, very black and white. Chloe Kim. That's the way to do it. Straightforward. What's going on everybody? Welcome to a special Korean snack episode of Fung Bros Food. I'm outside of H Mart and I'm here with Olympic gold medalist Chloe Kim. Chloe Kim! 2018 Olympic gold medalist in half pipe. What, what's your familiarity with uh, Korean snacks? You know like the chocolate cones or the chocolate covered mushroom, like, like cookie mushrooms? I have a sweet tooth. Alright guys, we're gonna try the most interesting snacks at H Mart. Let's, Let's go! go. Okay, Chloe, we have just got to the snack aisle. I want to pull the most interesting Korean snacks that we possibly can from H Mart. But you know what I'm, I'm really looking forward to? is trying all the flavors of Pepero. Yes. Do you like Pepero better than Pocky? Of course. I feel that's like fair. that's an obvious question. Oh. These are good. The pop cereal snack. All right, have you had the, the rice pancakes? Wait, wow. how, I want to ask, how Korean are you? What Pretty Korean. I've never had the sweet potato one, but I've had the, the normal one. Yo, have you ever okay. had these? I like the name. Super rice stick. Nongshim's making everything, see? Super heavy in the instant noodle game and also shrimp crackers. We laugh for like three minutes straight. It's funny, because it's so true. Try to pick a snack that you don't think I've had. And then I'll try to pick a snack I don't think you've okay, had. Okay, okay. Have you had these banana ones? Yes. Those are fire though. This one has a funny name, corn show. Oh yeah, you know, I don't think I've had that before. Yes. Koreans really like churros? Do you know my story with churros? We had this dining hall, and right outside of it was this churro stand, and I bought a lot of them. Whipped up some churros especially for you. Oh, oh yes. wait, we have everything. I so you can win a gold medal so while eating churros. Is that yeah. what you're telling the kids? Pretty much. <gasps> have you had these before? I like these candy. milk beans? Yo, you know what I like about it? Uh. Almost no English on it. <laughs> I got. We gotta get this one. We got the pepperow aisle now. Okay. I think, um, just gotta take that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. That one's different. This is what I'm talking That's... about, the little mushrooms. <laughs> Yo, I gotta say, your dad took you snowboarding really young, right? Yeah. Did he, like, have that vision that you were gonna be a good snowboarder? No. Because I was like, if you tell your, you bring your kid to do anything at four, that's like, that's like LeVar Ball. Was your dad LeVar Kim? Is he the, <laughs> is he the LeVar? No. And then my mom made a deal, like, if she doesn't start doing well, by the time she's 13, then she's going back to school. And then when I was 14, I started winning So you made it right before the deadline. Yeah. My first podium was when I was 12. What is this? What are these smiling balls? Okay, I'm trying to think. <gasps> Ooh. Yo, no way. The hot chicken ramen flavor snack. Just the raw ramen that you just eat dry. Definitely copy yeah, this. Yeah, we gotta get that. You gotta okay. pick my drink out and then I'll pick out your drink. Can it be a surprise? Like you stay here? Okay. Okay. All right. I'm surprised. But try to grab grab some. I, I never have before. Okay. Chloe Kim is here at H Mart picking out a drink for me. Money. Hurry up, Chloe. Orange it is. I also want to get him a jumbo ramen because that's like really cool. Milk teas. Just, just because of it. I mean, come on, forever V line. Is this drink supposed to give you the V-line? Is that what they're saying? I hope so. Like, like this V-line or this V-line? Because I want, I want like this V-line. They're just gonna advertise how it like is supposed to make your face slimmer. Does it come with the surgery? <laughs> it comes with a certificate. It comes with a discount to uh, surgery for the V-line. But all right, guys. So we got all our snacks. Let's go try them. I feel like we would not be doing H Mart justice if we didn't get some panchan. I had, oh, the, the raw crab. Ketchup. That's is crazy. That have you had, yo, this is one of my favorites actually. This stir fried dried squid. Have you had this? Uh uh. Are you down with clams? Yeah. Try a piece. We don't gotta eat too much. Yeah, let's try Just it. Let's get it. This is weird. I always thought this was kind of interesting. Oh, that's the salted so good. Whiting roe. With you white just, rice. Yeah. yeah. 
You actually had a lot of Korean snacks. How Korean are you compared to what people might think? Because you won a gold medal in snowboarding and snowboarding is definitely not like an Asian thing. I think me doing that will probably bring a lot more Asian people into the sport. I feel like that's how it is with any sport too. It's like you see your role model, like whoever it may be, and if you think they're sick, then you want to try whatever they do and like that inspires you. Yeah, that's true. I mean, you need like an example. All right, All right guys, let's get going on Asian snacks. I want to try the pepperoni first. You know what? I've always been disappointed about pepperoni. No pepper in it. I'm Should first. we just put them all on a plate, one at a time? Do so that? it's like fine dining, you know? Mm. Oh yes, Chloe, here's your uh, one pepperoni stick. Out of these five pepperos, we have to determine who's gonna win the gold medal of pepperoni. Cookies and cream pepperoni. You're not even gonna eat the whole thing? No. What are you doing? You're gonna eat the whole thing? Yeah. You're gonna eat the whole biscuit. That was okay. There's gonna be a lot more snacks, Chloe. I think you might wanna pace yourself. <laughs> Double chocolate cookie pepperoni. I personally like that better than the cookies and cream one. I didn't really taste the cookies and cream. Yeah, I thought I the just cookies... tasted chocolate. OG pepperoni. OG. Simple. Delicious. Light. Can't go wrong. Almond one. My personal favorite. Mm hmm That's the fire right there. Purple this is fire. the tube one filled with chocolate. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, here's my problem with that. Damn. And there's a lot of like that flavor in a bunch of other Korean snacks. So I like that this almond one kind of brings something different to the table. I think the almond and the double chocolate one for me. Yeah. The those spiky are my ones. Favorite. The spiky ones are the greatest. The, the V line forever. Oh, that's good. Yum. Oh my gosh, I can feel my chin just. <laughs> and I feel my abs growing here. My dad, before he married my mom, asked her to show him old high school photos of her. What? To make sure she didn't get surgery. Wow. We're doing the hot chicken flavor ramen snack. You know what it is? Let's do a ramen challenge. Who's is better? No, 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 no. Can we uh, put two packs of flavoring in there? Oh, yeah. Double pack, double heat. <laughs> Sam Yang double spicy dry ramen hot flavored chicken challenge. Ooh, well, that's nice. I'm getting dizzy. Spicy. Yeah, does it have like side effects on that bag? Side effects include dizziness, migraines, and death. <laughs> that was good, regardless. All right, corn cho. Wow, that chocolate's soft. Look at this, it's like a little mini eclair. The uh, corn cho. Nice. Oh. It's actually really that's good. good. That's like a really light chocolatey flavor. Yeah, it's really good. And the corn puff, it just melts in your mouth, it like dissolves. Yeah. It's kind of like one of those uh, packing peanuts. I gotta give it up to the chocolate for being soft. Yeah. Because usually you would think the chocolate was gonna be hard. That's good. It's guilty is, um, what's the name? Milkies. Milkies. Oh, wait. It's like a candy. I hope you like it, because I love oh, it. Oh, doesn't look like the pictures. We can turn it into a jelly bean. Yeah, I really wanted it in the bean shape. <laughs> That's really interesting. That's like a dense marshmallow. That's not bad. No, no, the taste is like a sweet milk flavor, mm -hmm. you know, a lot of candies, but that texture is weird. It's like airy, but chewy at the same time. How interesting was that, that you won your first gold medal at your first Olympics in Korea, but you're American. So you're kind of representing both, both. countries yeah. in a way. Yeah, it was weird because like when I started getting good at snowboarding, like we didn't know the Olympics were gonna be in Korea. Mm -hmm. And then it was like amazing, like the coolest experience ever. And it was really rad I was able to represent both. Were you getting love from both sides? Like the Americans were cheering you on and then yeah. the, even the Koreans were too? Yeah, not a lot of like amazing Korean fans. That was one thing I was really worried about. I was worried about, you know, if I would get any backlash on that side. Uh -huh. I mean, I feel a very big connection with both sides, but my life has just been here that I felt like it made more sense for me to compete for the US. Yeah. Because at first my dad was like, oh, like you should definitely go for Korea. But I was like, we had to have this conversation where I was like, I was born and raised here and I want to compete for the US. All my friends are here. I don't want to go compete for a country that, you know. You didn't live. I, I mean, don't really you live just there. Didn't yeah. grow up there, yeah. yeah. Did you have to try to tune out some haters? Because I'm sure there were some people who were like, Either like maybe some Korean people or Asian people thought you were not Asian enough. Oh, she's like, yeah. and then some Americans might have not fully taken you on as American representative. Re re yeah, representative. You no. know how like that is just because. I feel like no matter what, someone's people are always gonna get hate if they, you know, get really famous overnight like I did, and it's just. It is what it is. But at the end of the day, I feel like a lot of Asian Americans are struggling with the same thing. It's like. 
you don't really feel accepted on both sides sometimes. Like I learned about racism when I was very young. For sure. Okay, so you've been dealing with this for a while. Mm -hmm. You're not like from a place that no. you didn't have to deal with racism. No. And you're just like overlooking it. It's like, no, I actually thought about it from a young age. Yeah. At the end of the day, I've become pretty immune to it. So okay. I'm like, whatever. Yeah, I feel like you, you seem like uh, you got a pretty good hold on yourself. Oh. Oh, this is interesting. Brain oh. friend. Oh, what? This goes with the milk one on the weird textures. This is supposed to be cheese. Yeah, there's some. Cheese in the middle between like a grainy kind of potato-y flavor puff roll. Okay, you know the shike has to go in the bowl. That's oh, like the shike, tradition. okay. Yeah. No, no, we gotta drink the shike. Out of the bowl. And you have to shake it. Very. Kamsamnida. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, that's really good. This is my favorite rice drink. Maybe in the world. I that's think it's good. my favorite. I think it's that's good. That's good. Stick rice snack. Oh, oh. So. No mushroom. There's so here. many words. I'll just grab a couple. Okay, so they look like almost radish slices or those uh, big king oyster mushrooms. Oh, not bad. What Why? do you think about the texture? It kind of snaps, but then dissolves in your mouth. It's like styrofoam. Putting the rice stick into the rice drink. I don't know why I did this. I like it. It kind of tastes like cereal. Really? Let's try it. So dum dum. Yeah, I like that. Sweet sure. potato rice circles. I think I've had these before and they're delicious. Wow. I've got Yo. Mm -hmm. I like that. Yeah, That's good. really good. Mm -hmm. I can actually taste the sweet potato. Mm -hmm. I've got You know like a tostada? You know like the circular yeah. tortilla? Yeah. I could see putting some like maybe panchan on this, some rice. Let's take a uh, panchan break. I know, so we did a Korean um, panchan episode actually here at H Mart a while back. And a lot of people got mad at us because they were like, oh, the reason why you don't like that panchan is because you're not eating that with rice. You're not supposed to eat it just by itself. Yep. So I'm just saying, guys, I'm here to correct our mistake. Is there any panchan here that you have not had? Um, I've never had the tiny crabs Let's before. do the tiny crabs. Are they raw? Oh, wow. That's good. Mm. Mm. This is weird, but those crabs were like juicy. It's kind of sad, but it's so good. They're really good. Oh, that one has no legs. I think a lot of people would not try this one. Raw octopus. It's really spicy, but it's good. Pretty good. I wouldn't like order extra of that, but I'm not bad. I tried it. Yeah. I'm a really big fan of this. I don't... This sweet dried squid. No, I think you need to eat more. Take, take a slice and bigger. Trust me. It's like chewy and sweet. No? It's just like a lot. It's like chewing on rubber. Fish roast sack. So yeah, this is like the sack that has all the eggs from the fish. Mm -hmm. All right, I will say though, it's salty. Okay. So what you need to do is take it, and then you need to cut it up into like a smaller piece. See Fish if you roll. like it. That is pretty good. You like it with the sesame oil? Wow, that's like, I will say that's pretty decadent. I f with that. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Mm -hmm. All right, let's get these clams. Damn, you like the whole thing. The, I feel uh, like seasoned clams. this one, you go, you put the rice in the shell. Okay. And you just scoop it in your mouth. Yeah, mm -hmm. I didn't really like that one. We are about to finish up, but before we talk about our favorite and the must gets, we gotta try and determine which honey butter chip is the best. Now they have two kinds right now. We have the high tie and we got the Cosmos. But opinions about honey butter chips. Okay, I don't like them. Good, you'll be a good judge for this. I know. <laughs> honey butter chip, high tie. You took the littlest bite and you're like, no. This one looks to have a little bit more flavor. A little bit more dusting on it. <laughs> the one I <laughs> That's all. Okay. That was a lot thicker and crunchier because it was the kettle, kettle chip style. I think I like that one better. I think this one's better. Because the other one felt, it was kind of like, it's kind of greasy. It feels mm. greasy because it's thin, so it just feels greasy. Chloe does not like the honey butter chips. <gasps> I'm so this. excited for these. These are the banana, banana kick, banana puffs, essentially. Oh, you smell that? Did you get the whiff? That Whew. smells like banana. All right, banana puffs. It's like sugar just melted in my mouth. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's head cool. to head challenge with the oh, chocolate ones. Those were probably really good mixed. No, you stick them together. Mm, they're good together. I've got to choose one. I go with the banana. I'm going with the chocolate ones. The media made a big thing about this. It was, it was cool. 
for a minute, but then too much is too much. You know what it was? I think that like the media wants to like blow something up. Like, oh, Chloe Kim also likes churros. This is funny. We can run with this. We can get a lot of like, it's news. All right, churros. Delicious. You know what? I, something's about it where I just feel like this needs milk. Like it should be like a cereal. Oh. Pineapple, green apple. Pop these off. Jelly. Oh. <laughs> you have to make that noise. Who are you uh, watching on YouTube right now? You have a YouTube channel, Chloe? I don't know. I kind of wanted to start a YouTube channel because I want to talk more about my life and have something outside of snowboarding. Mm -hmm. But I think no. it's fun. It's fun for me too. And um, I'm going to be talking about, I'm going to school this year. I'm leaving next week, so. Can you say where? You... I'm, I'm going to Princeton University. Oh, Pr <laughs> oh, Princeton. Oh, one of the most esteemed universities. Literally everyone says that. They're like, oh, you're going to Princeton. And then I'll say something dumb, like just, you know how people say dumb things sometimes? My friends are like, oh, Princeton, here I come. Making fun of me. You win the gold, or at least when you did the 1080s. That was crazy. You were really high in the air. The half pipe is huge. How are you not scared or are you scared? I'm always scared when I learn a new trick. So like I recently just learned how to do a double cork. It's two flips in the air. And that was really scary to learn. That's crazy. But if you don't break that. your neck, you're good. Yeah, exactly. But to have parents that were so supportive, I mean, that must have been really important. If your kids are interested in a sport or they have a passion, like I really do feel like you should try to support them because I can't do what I do for very long and I can always go to school, you know? And it's like, I think that was something my parents understood as well. It was like, my mm. daughter, she's so good at this sport, she can become the best at this. Well, there's a window of time that you're gonna be at your peak athleticism. Yeah. And, and you need to just learn it and be And good at it's it. not even just like being the best at something. It's like all the hard work that goes into it, all the dedication, like all of these essential parts of being a good human being, I learned through snowboarding. I had to learn what taxes were when I was 14, 13, 14, because I was getting prize money. And it's like, you don't you don't learn that in school, but because I was snowboarding, like it put me in a situation where I had to learn about it and educate myself about it. With snowboarding, I became so much closer to my family. Mm. Like my dad and I, we did everything together. And I feel like if I wasn't, I did, we didn't do what we did and I wasn't a professional snowboarder and he didn't travel with me, we would not have the relationship we have now. I honestly feel like if your kid is really passionate about something, at least like, you know, give him a shot at it for a little bit. Like See what happens. See what happens. Um, also, I think it's funny because now, even if someone watches this video, their like 10 year old kid or like eight year old kid could be like, hey, I want to be either a pro snowboarder or a pro content creator and there would be a, examples out there for them. Yeah. As opposed to even when you were coming up, I'm pretty sure there was no, not that many great Asian snowboarders. Mm -hmm. And it's like anything is possible, anything is achievable. And I think like snowboarding has taught me to never give up too, because there's so many times where I was like, I hate this. Oh, you I'm face sick of it. so many times. Like, I, you know, I break my wrist and I'm like, I never want to do it again. But then it's like, I have this love for it and I want to go back to it. And it helps me learn that it teaches me that I can pick myself back up and do it again and come back even stronger. Your top snacks here. Hanchan, the egg. Okay, the egg, imagine that we it's, ate it's it all. Full. We ate all so of it. So the fish egg with sesame oil. With sesame oil. You don't want it without sesame oil. And the rice, obviously. And I'm gonna have to go with the banana puffs. Okay. The almond pepero. Okay. And the churros. Uh, I'm going with, I really like the hot Sam Yang ramen, the little sweet, spicy seasoned crabs, the corn chows. The weirdest award goes to these milk things. <laughs> these like little milk, dense, chewy marshmallow They're so things. Weird. They're so weird. Like, it's look at so this rip. Odd. We gotta wrap that up. We gotta wrap that up. Thank you everybody so much for watching that video. Shout out to H Mart. Shout out to Chloe Kim for being here. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Um, we told you guys what our favorite snacks here at H Mart were, the Korean snacks and even of the interesting ponchan that they have here. There's a video that I did on Chloe's channel, so definitely subscribe to her. Yeah. All right, everybody, and until next time, we out. Peace. Peace. How many interviews do you get to be like honest in?
I anything I say is something that you know I actually believe in like I'm never gonna make up anything else or like say something that'll make me look better as a person because I think that a lot of people do do that and it's so stressful for them to like maintain this image like I want my image to be my true self just try to keep it simple hey Chloe Kim keeping it real yeah